Okay, hello and welcome <laughs> welcome to the Lemon Pod. Fine quality pop listening from 3 till 6 with tracks such as Buddy Can You Spare a Dime and Roll Out the Barrel yeah, and from 7.30 onwards Golden Oldies such as You Only Ugg Twice. Okay, I'm going to stop you there Paul. because none of that actually have features. On the hour news updates and tech news. <laughs> none of, we we <laughs> well, don't have any of that stuff. I'm just going to put no, that out. Yeah. No. We... But yeah. well, we do have tech news, and we have on the hour news updates, as in on the hour that we're recording this podcast. And we can there are news updates. We can get we can get uh, Luke to sing "Roll Out the Barrels" if you want as well. I don't know if that song. What's the yeah. song? If you really like, roll the out the barrels. You. <laughs> that's <laughs> about it. That's the Quick. entire song. To the internet. Yeah. Roll. It's not. It's like a really old song. How can you not have heard of this song? (laughs) Oh, the the beer barrel polka, also known as what? (laughs) What? The what? The the beer barrel polka? Is that what you just called it? Polka, 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 not polka. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for clearing (laughs) that up. You've made it much better. There's also Roll Out the Bottle. Well, it's a, roll it's out a the type of song, dog. isn't it? Of course there is. It? Of course well, there is. A simple solution to the... It's the do a barrel pre- roll, doll. ...pre problem worldwide. What's it? What? Being the... safe and what? clean drinking water to mountains <laughs> or something. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I imagine they... It's yeah, they have nice to roll place. out the barrels up the hills, up the mountains, to get them to the water. <laughs> Literally, they have to roll out the barrel. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> shall we um, Shall we get on to our first order of business? Well, I, I was just thinking yes. about something that we didn't address sort of last time. The and fact that all that I said in the beginning was complete rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't really have to address that last time, did we, to be honest? Um, well, I was thinking, right... No. We should probably just introduce e- ourselves so that they know whose voices they are listening to. Yeah. Because it is kind of hard to tell just That's listening a good to idea, voices. Isn't it? So. I found yeah. the song, by the way. Yeah. Of course, especially you have. if you don't know us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know me. Morning. I don't what? know me. At all. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Uh, I just. So, sorry. I just had a look Kieran? at the thing. Hello. Uh, do the introductions. My name is Kieran. I was born in 1996. <laughs> For 16 All right, years. Alright, that's enough. Oh, farewell. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only part we need to know about you. Your okay. state of birth. Oh. I'm the CEO, <laughs> by the way. Well, we I only needed care. your name, Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hello, I'm Rory. Luke? Luke? <laughs> Luke, say your name. Luke is, uh, I'm. I'm. Okay. Am I? Oh, right, yeah. Sorry, I'm Luke. Um, are you? Are you I'm sure? Because I thought I was Luke. Oh, no. Okay. You're Ru- Okay, he's Luke. Uh, I'm Luke. I'm Wait, I'm not Luke. <laughs> this is really confusing no, me now. <laughs> I think you're confusing me. So, so who am I? I'm Rory. Who am I? He's, the ginger he's one's Luke. Kieran. Oh, that doesn't They can't work. see us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can see you. That's right. I know what you're doing. Disgusting. <laughs> Existing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you there, just existing. You listener. Anyway, anyway. I'm Adam. The ginger um, vegetarians, remember? I'm yeah. I'm Adam, also known as the party animal. <laughs> no, <laughs> the party animal. Adam. I don't know. Not many people call me that. I'm going to be honest. No, no actually, one calls no. You one that. I well, I call myself that sometimes when I'm alone. How many parties have you been to this year, Adam? Okay. What? What's a party? No. <laughs> it's it's like Adam. It's like a LAN exactly. It's like a LAN party without the LAN, and you're actually at someone's house, meeting face to face. That sounds. That sounds really boring. I know it is, isn't it? I mean, it sounds dangerous to me. Yeah. It sounds dangerous. dangerous in one room. <laughs> Just in one room. But okay. you can trip yeah. over each other. You can I trip know. over them. Health and safety. That's the biggest problem. Trip it over them. <laughs> it's the biggest. It's the problem yeah. I face. Ooh. Shall we get on? <laughs> shall we get on to this alleged tech news? Well, why not? Why not? <laughs> right, we've got opening Rory. To exist. Rory, we're opening you up, like insurgency. Yeah, I, I, I did that. that. 
Oh gosh. Uh, no. That's that's no. not on the agenda, Luke. Yeah, it is. All oh, right, that's okay. Is it? Okay. Oh, we're gonna yeah. Now. I just ne- put it on. Next um, we have. Next we have Kieran resigned from KFC. Oh, wait, wait yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna school. add. Well done, Kieran. Farrell, I'm just gonna add. No we do chicken. actually. I'm now we do person. actually have a a um sort of. Um, a way we've got a little agenda of what we're going to talk about this time, as opposed to double decker buses. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fun, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was pretty good as well. You realise we're never actually going to match the magic of the original podcast. No. The magic, <laughs> the, the the amazing <laughs> magical. Oh no, the magic. Yeah, it's only downhill magical. from now on. Right, and it was never really uphill in the start. <laughs> it was kind of on flat land, and we've just gone so, into a gorge. So, yeah. Kieran, <laughs> <laughs> Kieran, well done for for resigning from the the world dominating KFC. Thank you. Um, congratulations on your new Thank job. You. Many many returns. <laughs> what is your new job exactly? <laughs> Moving on. Many returns. Returns of what exactly? Not happy like returns. Just returns. Yeah, just 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 returns. Just <laughs> tax returns. returns or something. <laughs> many, returns. Many, many, many presses of enter. Many tax returns. Are tax returns, good thing. <laughs> they are now. I don't know. Probably not. Right. Okay. Yeah, you all get paid now. iPhone five. iPhone five S. Five. iPhone five C. The iPhone five S. C. Yeah. An iPhone 5C, so, with the C stands for cheap. Recently, uh, yesterday, S- on the... And the S stands for expensive. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, expensive. the C stands for Apple are cheating you because it's not actually £99. Dollars. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you might be wondering, but but party am- animal... Ugh, I can't speak. But party animal... <laughs> you see... Apple doesn't begin with a C, and you're right. No, no it doesn't. I tell you what does begin with a C. Um, lots of that, things that it. don't begin Not with a. Neurotoxin. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Everything that doesn't begin with yeah. an A. Well, no, not everything, but. What would you like yeah. to? Everything that begins with a C doesn't begin with an A. There you go. <laughs> yep, there you are. Right. Okay. Right. So. Shall we actually get on to Adam's rant about this? Because Adam was pretty disillusioned. Yeah, and I, I tried know. to talk him out of it, but it wasn't as said, bad as he thought. Yeah, no, I'm not shall, we, like shall we? So let's open up this web page. Yeah. No, I'm completely shall over we provide it. A, a, a bit of completely over a bit of. <laughs> you completely. Uh, <laughs> You're over it. No, of course that's I'm not. not. Of not course I'm not over it. <laughs> Right, okay, sh- hang on, hang on, Adam, hang on. <laughs> I think we need to provide a bi- bit of... Bra- uh, I can't even speak. A bit of, of background black ground. information. Black ground. Why Adam is so irate yes. about this. So, Kieran, would you care to do this? Uh, so I'll talk about this. Recently, Apple had their keynote event, which happens every six months, because Apple released a new product every six months. And with this due change, they released the new iPhone 5S and 5C. Meaning that on the website, on the US website, it claims that you can get an iPhone 5C for 99 US dollars. But within the small print, it claims you must have a contract. And through that contract, it ends up costing you the exact same price. And the price of a 5C actually is 469 English pounds. And that's iPhone's cheap version. There we go. Not only that. Not only that, but you're not even it's it's go. not you're not even ava- they're not even available to buy for ninety nine dollars. So it's not like no. that they can get away with it by saying, Oh, it is from ninety nine dollars, but then you have to buy the contract and stuff as well. No. You literally what? cannot buy I... one unless you also get the contract. I think it's just the way they've worded it. They've worded it in such a way that it says that like in England we have the contract where you say you have a one-off payment for the phone of let's say £99 but on top of that you have to pay another £40 a month for your actual contract because it's an Apple product meaning that the minimum contract price is going to be £40 so that's why it's so expensive it's stupid yeah I thought the idea the idea behind their new cheap 5C, isn't it? Is to get into new markets like China. 
and new mind. Yeah, that was the original Kirk. <laughs> and me. Oh, does the C, the does the C stand for China? <laughs> the iPhone 5 yeah. China. No, it stands for the iPhone cheating <laughs> bastards. That's what it stands for. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that's um, good one. Now then, Adam, the cases. You had a word on the cases. <laughs> yeah, this is another thing. <laughs> I'm just getting so annoyed about this. The, the cases look like it makes the eye. Apparently, it's been specifically designed with the with the eye. Uh, phone, like at the same time as it. Unfortunately, what they didn't realise is that it makes the entire thing look like a lilo. You know, one of those little things with the little indentation yeah. circles in it. So you sit on it and you want you got those little indentation things. It looks like a lilo. Not only that as well though. Mm. I keep saying not either only that, that but... or a bar of soap. Yeah, a bar of a ba- soap. Or those bath, soap. that bath mat that you can put inside the bath when you're having a yeah. shower. It's like bumps yeah, and it slips. Those. And it has yeah. suckers. Yeah. It's got like, like suckers, yeah. doesn't it? You'd think as well, right? You'd think if they'd if they'd been put so much effort into designing it so well. They'd have at least had it so that you could see the entire name on the back. Because it's got a little iPhone name on the back. But they've partially yeah. covered that up, so you can just see a tiny bit of the text. Which, if it's been designed yeah. with the iPhone... Well, it just says no. You'd expect that they would have sorted <laughs> it out. It says no in French. <laughs> which means, do not buy this. Um, uh, yep. Can I, can, I, no. can I quote from the website here? Pre- precisely oh drilled holes align perfectly with the speakers on the iPhone 5C, and the circle pattern draws focus to the colour underneath, creating 30 fun combinations. Shut up. 30 fun combinations? What? Oh, you mean number of cases times num- like, like colour of yes. phones. So that's, that's ridiculous. So it's 30 what, fun combinations of if you'd buy every single one of the iPhones. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. How do Apple yeah, because there'll be, f- there'll be like five colours of phone and four colours of case, yeah. won't there? So it only works if you buy That'll all of the iPhones. <laughs> Oh god, so that's, that's what, terrible. What's that's that? Despicable. If it's 500, about 500 <laughs> know, maybe per six iPhone. Of case. Yeah. What's it, about 500 per iPhone? It'll probably be about another 100 for the case. Yeah. It's about six. It's probably will, well, won't it? Because they've been specifically five. made. It's about. Th- th- three th- uh, the new iPhone 5 c case is it's $30. $30, <laughs> which is very expensive for a case that doesn't protect yeah. the top of the phone. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. got holes in it. Surely the point of a case yeah. is that it protects it. It's got giant holes in it. What's to stop it from getting mm. stra- scratched? Well, skimpy cases have skimpy cases have become a thing since, um, since like the iPod <laughs> Touch, haven't they? Skimpy yeah. cases and iPhones. Is that going along with like brains. bikinis yeah. and stuff? Because it sort of suits the fashion. Scantily clad phones. <laughs> scantily clad phones. Scantily clad phones. Jesus, it's like they're wearing nothing at all. <laughs> so, you know what? You know what does? You know what surprised me about this? They haven't called it the eye case, which I'm very surprised about as well. What have they called it? <laughs> what have they called just, it? Just an iPhone 5C case, just to get very creative. Well, that's original, there. isn't it? That's so well, original. That's just yeah. what? Watch when they start expanding into prosthetics. We'll have the eyeball and the eye arm. Wow. And the the and eyeball the, works, you know, but the eye. Yeah. Well, no, actually, it wouldn't be work because they'd have to call it the eye eyeball. Eye eyeball. Well, yeah, because surely the eye ball <laughs> yeah. is just oh. the other type. The of eye ball. eyelets of Langerhans. <laughs> because the normal eyeball is just the eyeball, <laughs> so it, they'd have to call it the eye eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> Which might get confused as a little toy <laughs> ball ridiculous. for an eye eye, as in the animal. <laughs> Oh, I can sponge your square right, pencil as an aye aye captain. Aye aye captain. She can't even take the apple. 1 800 my apple. That's can, I, can I just point out back on the cases again? iPhone 5 Probably. cases, they've got yeah. all the colours, yeah. and then they've got red, but they've called it red with a trademark. Yeah, it's a it's, it's a company. Red in brackets with a red. Yeah, brackets red is a um, yeah. It's a company. It's like a charity. All of the um, sales of the 
brackets red stuff goes to charity or some of it does anyway quite a lot of companies yeah, I think do it red product is oh right yeah okay. Dell do well, I, I didn't know that, know that. So, so there you go there you have it there you go see I do know things not useful things but things <laughs> yep you learn something new every day yep that's from unless you're Luke I believe unless you're Luke and then everything you learn is new <laughs> Whoa! Now, why is it? Whoa! Why is it, guys, that everyone has to have an iPhone when they've only got about as much functionality as any other? Yeah, I, I think it's more a lot status more expensive. Symbol. It's like I, I think it's more the fact that I can afford an iPhone, but I don't. Why would anybody want an iPhone? They're just incredibly unuser un- friendly. Well, some things, some things, yeah, are less. They have less features than like Android phones and stuff. Because I iPhone I Apple don't want you messing up their stuff. <laughs> iPhone like, I Apple do as much. Yeah, you can't you can't do as much um, development on it. Like you you can't with an iPhone connect your Mindstorms Lego Mindstorms NXT to it. Yeah, what, what? No, what no, you, you can't do without Android. the ability to do that. Eh? Much harder to, to develop yeah. programs for. But Android so is an open it. software, so it means you can edit anything on Android. It's yeah. You can completely rewrite mm-hmm. the p- software, which is brilliant for programmers. Yeah. Isn't isn't Android also based on uh, Linux, or is that just my imagination? Uh, Linux, yes, it is. Yes, yeah. it is. It runs. It runs. It's Linux. not pronounced Linux. Also, Kieran. Um, it is actually. It no, is. it's not. I, I had an ar- Linux. I had this no, argument today. Linux. Somebody. At Whatever. College. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yes, it doesn't matter, but you're wrong. Moving on. Androids, Let's move on. Come on, um, everyone. They they have they have SD cards in them, so they've got like a removable memory. Whereas iPhones, it's just a localized block, you know, like a factory built in. It might be big, but it's still you know an integral memory. You can't take. Oh, it sorry, we're well, not going to say okay. localized force field because <laughs> that's what I thought immediately. <laughs> the only other place is to store everything on your okay, SD then. card. Which you're not going to do. Don't tell me what I'll do. I mean, no, I'm wait, not I didn't mean that. that. But no, not SD card. I, I said the wrong thing. Not which made well it completely no, nonsense. Good job. Good job. So, yeah, sh- just shut up and ignore me. Thank you. Yeah. I always do that yeah. anyway. So, moving on. What, you shut up? Oh, good. No, I ignore you. <laughs> so, I think. Right, my theory to this why people have to have an iPhone. Obviously there's brand loyalty, mm. but also um, the fact that they have actually, you know, they've attacked kind of the common casual person's market, because I mean, you see you know, people who would be maybe otherwise classed as working class or whatever but they still have an iPhone you know Yeah, just, they're everywhere I do, I do know. even people who have hardly any money for some reason have an iPhone and it's like somehow they've made people think even even the people who wouldn't think normally oh I can just afford you know, the really <laughs> just the people who wouldn't think normally they've made them think <laughs> they need yeah. an iPhone you know they've kind of brainwashed a nation I don't know but there's obviously a need to iPhone. have thing, isn't there? I still think Apple's quite a status symbol. If I, oh look, I have an Apple because uh, I have a lot of money, I can afford yeah. this. I think that's the real yeah. purpose of why people buy Apple products. Well, unless you're a graphic designer. Of uh, course, I don't subscribe to the whole working class thing. It's just, you know, the normal stereotype mm. is that. And then... This conversation has gone very deep, hasn't it? You know, it? Apple comes along and they're yeah. like... Very deep. So what yeah. did you do in theology today, Adam? Uh, well, thanks for asking, ethics. Luke. <laughs> uh, thanks for asking, Luke. Um, wh- why have you just asked a <laughs> really <laughs> random question? <laughs> uh, because I thought we were going all deep and spiritual. And well, we were uh, just we were today in in ethics. Shall we move on to? No, that? I'm telling you what we did now. <laughs> Shut sh- up. To the two DS. No. Okay, fine. We were just we fine. were discussing the um, the intricate um, inside workings of why people buy iPhones, which is coincidence, isn't oh, it? Oh, really? Yeah, that's a coincidence. Wow. I don't know why I didn't mention it until you just pointed it out. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But there you go. That's what I was doing. 
Yeah. Okay, okay moving on. About Apple. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I was going to yeah, say okay, that yeah. when, when little kids have iPhone 5s, that irritates yeah. me. That, ever, yeah. Yeah. Why that irritates do you. Young oh, yeah. Need that's, iPhones? that's what I mean. You know, people who wouldn't who wouldn't be seen as to to be able to afford yeah. iPhones. I have have when I was... You know, you don't see many kids going around with Samsung Galaxies, yeah. but you see them going around with it's iPhones. like my first phone was like a flip phone, and it was the best thing ever. I loved the flip phone. I've still got my first phone. phone. <laughs> so have I. Brilliant, the flip phone. It's like, got a quirk. I've sleep kid. No, that's phone. not true. I'll tell you what happened. I actually had a downgrade. My original phone was better than the one I have now. <laughs> so there you go. Um, however, however, I played so much Snake on this phone now; it's unreal. I've topped up probably wow. two hundred, three hundred hours on Snake. I am a master. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes could really. upload, to, upload those to Steam, eh? <laughs> if someone came out with Snake Extreme Snake, like an Extreme Snake Championship, I would just be in there so fast. It's unbelievable. Hey. Hey, that reminds me of something <laughs> rather cool. No, Has anyone seen FP- FPS Man? It's F- it's the new 3D F- first-person shooter remake of uh, Pac-Man. Without the gun, of course. Wow. That and it is awesome. terrifying. No. It's, it's terrifying because, you know, like, in a 3D maze, it's like all futuristic and neon lit, like right. calm blues and stuff and you never know if just around the corner there's going to be one of the ghosts which are like massive things that just jump out from round corners because you're in 3D and you're like ah well there you are that sounds fantastic mm. 3D I guess it, it lets you live the terror yeah. of Pac-Man yeah. obviously <laughs> the inherent terror of Pac-Man oh. nothing scares me more than Pac-Man I'll tell you that now those oh, no. ghosts. They, they have to rate it like fifteen now because it can give it can give children yeah. nightmares. Can, well, it gives me nightmares. Never mind about children. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know they they have um, you know people people go to sleep and all they all they hear is work 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 work. Yeah, they're not they're not scared of a the ghost. Um, they're um, actually just scared they, of Pac Man. Um, yeah, and they they wake up sweating and like they they dream that Pac Man's kind of eat them and is chasing them. <laughs> that's what I dream of. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what happens. Right, okay. So, from the iPhone 5 cheap Because that's what we were talking about. We were talking about the iPhone yeah. 5, yeah. not Pac-Man. Yeah. 2DS, a.k.a. the Nintendo cheap. The Nintendo 2DS. The Nintendo cheap. It's not too cheap, um, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but it's an alternative well, it, because it's cheaper. It, it's not that cheap. It's cheaper. Yeah. yeah. How much is it, then? It looks like it's only got one speaker to me. It does, doesn't it? In that picture Kieran sent us, it does appear to only have one speaker. What, on one yeah. side? or? Yeah. Yeah. That's strange. It, sh- it must have one on the other side, shouldn't, mustn't it? I mean, it'd be stupid not to. It should do, but... Quick, to the internet. <laughs> Maybe it's just economising. So for those, for those who don't know, the Nintendo 2DS is basically... Like the 3DS, it's got the exact same firmware as the 3DS, same screens, same controls, runs the same games, however, it is all one piece. Instead of being like a clamshell opening up design, it's it's like just one flat controller. Yeah. Nor is it 3D. And um, it, it, it doesn't have 3D now. They better not no. do that thing. Which is a bit They better not do that thing that they did with the. Um, what was it? When they did it with a DS, right? Where I don't know if you can remember, but when they first brought out the um, the DS Lite, um, yeah. after I, I had a DS, an original DS. Then later on, they brought out the the DS Lite, and I was like, well, I don't need one. I've got my DS. But then, whenever they started advertising yeah. games for the DS on the TV. Oh yeah. They always said for the Nintendo DS Lite, and then on the cases for the games, it said <laughs> Nintendo DS Lite, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. well, it's just for a Nintendo DS. You don't have to specify Lite. What, what are you doing that for? <laughs> <sighs> well, they did it with the 3DS, didn't they? Now, whenever they say such and such for 3DS, they say, well, they either say for 3DS XL. 
and slash or they show a picture of the 3DS yeah. itself, not yeah. the 3DS. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Mm. And people say, oh, it looks better because it's rounded and stylish. I think it looks like a pebble. I don't want to be it's holding also a pebble. W- it's I think too the 3DS big, looks it? beautiful it's on its own. It's too big, the XL. It is. It yeah. is. And flat, it oh. feels like oh, oh it fe- it feels like a pebble. It's, it's horrible. It, I think it would be different to the normal DS because you've got you're holding it halfway up instead of at the bottom. The, the left and right triggers mm. are yeah, at the top. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't look very yeah. ergonomic, does no. it? it in, the buttons are laid out more like a, uh, a, a, a which one is it? Keyboard. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I've forgotten which one it is. Because I oh, don't helpful. have a console. It's the oh PSP. It probably is, but anyway, it's laid PSP out like got, something. Got yeah, PSP, yeah, they're they're laid out like the PSP. No, the PSP has had changed a lot over the years. Actually, I have a PSP Go and the original. Yeah, do you? And they have changed a lot over the years. That's yeah. true. Wow. Well, there was original Slimline PSP Go, and then. Um, I will admit, the new DS, two DS. All I can talk about is it. We all I can think of is a door wedge. Yeah, it do- I've just like noticed it's a door slanted. wedge. Yeah, or a piece of cheese. Yeah. You know, I, this I, is really. I just noticed that. You know, talking about what a a console looks like is really probably a terrible thing to do on a podcast. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. So as you can see to... from this picture, uh... <laughs> which you can't see, we're gonna have to like include like hyperlinks to all the websites we talked about or something. Do you realise that? I think people just Google it. Well, that's not too many. To you know, so there's the far. Apple website <laughs> and uh, the Nintendo website. So that's that's two. And, uh, um. Yeah. Unless you yeah. don't have Google, then also you know, the two DS. Also, everybody. Pacman. dot com. You know, to link them to that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. So they can have some nightmares. So what's the? How how much is the uh, 2DS? 2DS is uh, one hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cent. Uh, I don't know how much that is in English. In in I'll English quickly, pounds uh, and pennies. I'll have I've got like um, on Zavi dot com. It's one hundred and eight pounds. Are they out? If you, if Are they already out. On eBay, it's ninety nine. If you convert it direct, like, it's so, eighty two yeah. pounds. If you convert it direct, so if you were to import yeah. it from America, it looks like. But some of them are saying like one hundred and nineteen. Hmm. Well, does then it play of course you have got shipping games? from America, Kieran. Does it? It does. Yes. Yes. But only yeah. But then yeah. I can't yes. see, how is that going to work? Only in two DS. It also has a three D camera. Only in two DS. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know. Only in 2DS. <laughs> you know, because oh, it they made all these 3 d games. The uh, Mario 3D Adventureland. How is that going to work in 2D? Dimensional space. Yeah, yeah. Mario 3D yeah. Adventureland. That's that one. <laughs> <laughs> How is that going to work in 2D? It's got a 3D camera, though. This is but you can't like, see it. It's all in 2D, except it's got a 3D camera and can play 3D games. Yeah, it's got two cameras Wait, on the back. It's the kind of three. Can you camera. actually view them the in three D? Can you only view them in two D? No. Do, do you actually need a three DS in order to view them? So you have to buy both. That would be fun. Uh, in order to take pictures, <laughs> you need and something view them. that has a get 3D, all the variations. Three D property. Like if you put it on yeah. the computer and convert get it to a different type of three D. Get the fifty different combinations of color of three DS and two D. Yeah. <laughs> uh, doesn't my 2DS just complicate complement the colour of my 3DS? When when yeah. 3DSs first came out, though, yeah, it has. They gave them really fancy names for the colours, didn't they? Like cosmic black, and I was like, no, it's just oh, black. Yeah. It's an aqua, aqua blue. blue. No, it's just blue. blue. That sounds yeah. great. It's actually more turquoise. Wasn't it cosmos? Cos- black? Yeah, probably. I don't know. It's not like yeah, I own one or anything. Black. And then there was like hot rod red for the red one, which I could have got, but it was after my birthday. <laughs> it's not like I own one and therefore should know yeah. what it's called, but no, it's yeah. not, not like anything like that, no. I've got a DS Lite here. Yeah. Shut up, Luke. Okay, next topic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next it's topic red. is I bought one, one of, those for six one of my favourites, actually. This is one I found today, yes. which made me very happy. Valve has finally released Steam Family Sharing, which is going to be fantastic for 
gamers and people who use Steam. What it means is that we can share one. I own a lot of games, so I can share those games with you guys, and then you can access that game on my account because you're close friends. So then you can try the game out, play yeah. it, get your Steam achievements, finish the game <laughs> Wait, on friends? my Steam games, <laughs> and then you don't have to buy the game, which is brilliant. <laughs> I'll lend it to you. So I can borrow I your you could borrow one Thanks. of my games. Why would Steam do that to themselves? <laughs> well, basically, what they've said is because that you Valve. can share DVDs, books, retail games, and other physical media. <laughs> but they said, why can't we share digital media? Because they're not going to be losing much of a profit. Because if I want to play the game and you want to play the game, I get priority over it. So that's the way it works. But it's, it's 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 a clever system right. because I I want to play games that my family's got but I can't because they're using it on their computer. So it, it, oh, I, it's like good if um, I want to try a new game as well. That's cool. So well, I'm looking I forward could to it. just yeah, that's a good idea. So Valve have actually that's done something other than making yeah, you hat. The title is Valve Wins the Internet in PC yeah, Games incredible. Hearts, which they have, they've caught my heart very well. <laughs> Valve Wins the and, Internet. And it's going to be free. Yeah. A free service, no monthly fees, which makes Woo. it even better. So Valve, can, it's actually make free everything and very free. good on the internet. <laughs> How do Valve now, make a profit? Now, there must be a catch no, somewhere. No, uh, I'm, I'm going to sure. quickly read through it. Look, uh, I, I could see one when I had a look. You only have to give one newborn soul, so it's really not much of a catch, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've already handed said, over the Valve sends the world happy, a free what? service that enables <laughs> users to share their entire Steam game libraries with other users across ten devices. That's uh, pretty cool. Da, da. You know that, um... You allow Sony does something oh, it, similar it, on the PS3. It does, yeah. it does say, restrictions notwithstanding, and bear in mind Valve could update the policy down the road, this is a watershed moment for PC gaming. <laughs> I mean, seriously. So, Valve could change your mind. Obviously, change your mind. also, hmm. um, borrowed games are only available on devices that have been authorised, it says here. So, the the lender has to authorise the device. Yeah, which is device, very clever. Then, yeah. Fair enough. When the person's playing... When the person's playing the game, though, they um, the the it, like the lender can't get access. No, no, to it, it doesn't work like well, that. It, it means the that the lender gets priority. So let's say if you were playing it, but I wanted to play it, I could basically you kick, kick you him off, off and give you a few minutes' notice, so yeah. I get to get it back, which is. I mean, well, seriously, but though, guys, it means you can't. It means if you've got a multiplayer game, I can't lend it to you. Well, we that's well, no, that's fair enough, otherwise they would lose a lot that, of money. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I, yeah you can see why they wouldn't yeah, like to see which that. makes sense. Sony already no, do this. They couldn't afford to do that. Sony already do this on the PS3, I just realised. Shut up. Yeah, they do. They've done it on the PS3 since it came out. Basically, you can log on to your friend's account and download any anything they've downloaded on the PlayStation Store onto your PS3 and then it's available on, on your your PS3. So Yeah we have to log on to the account. This means that we don't have to we have each other's accounts or passwords or anything. This just means that we yeah. can do it over the internet, which is even better. Unless Adam so you want secure. me to Unless Adam you want to give me your bank account details, I mean I'm fine with that. Uh, of course I do Luke. <laughs> so Adam, what's right, your security you. number again? Nine four two. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's one, one digit one, two, short. Three, That's four, right, again. Kieran. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, everyone knows that one two three four is a bad password. Oh, sorry, is it password one instead? Yep. Uh, one two three. Yes, four. of course it is. No, it's P. No, it's, yeah, it's one. P password one. You got to remember <laughs> because the P is a capital letter, so it's P password one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Okay, enough obscure references to, <laughs> to people the listeners don't. It doesn't yeah. matter though because it's still. It's Although still I'm hoping to have him on a, as a guest at some point. It's still it's still a joke on its own. <laughs> the ass word one. Yeah. It is, yeah. 
Kieran, there's a note on this Hello. podcast number two document. It says GTA V. Does this mean anything? Ah, yes, it means yes. Yes. goats. Go petting simulator. To anvils. Oh dear. Um, Thank five. you. To anvils nope. five. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's a new converter. Yeah. There's a new converter you can get. It basically converts goats <laughs> into <laughs> anvils. Um, it's a new version. It's the fifth version, fifth generation of this thing. Yeah. Um, and it's very good. It is really. I have tried well, it a couple of times now. It's been very mm. popular. That's why they managed to get you know. You know, I had so many s- excess goats, and I had so little anvils. It was just so useful. Well, I, 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 so put, that, I put that into uh, <laughs> Google. The top one is TripAdvisor, excellent service at goat function room, the anvil. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, so you go, just then. celebrated our 25th I guess wedding was bound anniversary to be somewhere. At, with a party at the Anvil Room in the, at the Goat Bar, Churchtown, Dublin. Oh, that, that's what a way to uh, celebrate, eh? What a, yeah. uh, I mean, I can't think of a better way of celebrating than converting a couple of goats to uh, some good old-fashioned anvils. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Boy, <laughs> give me an internet high five. Start doing some good old fashioned um, forging swords. High five. Things. Wait, give me an internet high five. Go on. Ready? Uh, okay. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well done. GG. Wow. That works so well. Um, so, do you want to talk about Grand Theft Auto? What's Grand yeah, Theft Auto? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Thought, it is. I don't know, but like. Kieran mentioned yeah. it earlier. I, is that anything I, to do I with really goats to anvils? Oh. Five. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it related? I, I, I warmed myself up by playing the goat petting simulator. That was to warm me up, ready for it. Just well, they are similar, aren't they? Mood. They are pretty similar. That's the only right. reason I played the game. I could imagine. No. So I don't want to talk about it because I can't get it because I don't own a PlayStation or an Xbox. So no, Whereas I do. <laughs> because Hello, it guys. <laughs> get My only experience... Right. My yeah. only experience with Grand Theft Auto is when I played it. It's on the channel. Oh, that Atlantico. video. Yeah. Le- Le- San Andreas. What is it? www.youtube. I don't know the actual address. Let's just say it's, it's forward slash, slash forward dot slash. com forward slash user forward right. slash the lemon co. No, you got to spell it out. T H E. L E M O N C O. I bet I imagined it's that's like it. dot watch um, slash no, slash no, that's C. It, that's no, I'm it. giving it's, the actual address of the GTA you don't specific have one. Um, oh, that one. Wait, okay. Slash watch uh, dot C C E E goat pecking uh, goat goat pecking zoo. You've got to put that in, otherwise it doesn't work. Um, and then you hit enter, and then you go. Why is Google Chrome so so rubbish at finding this video that I want to find? And then you go and do something more instead. interesting. <laughs> and then that's right, it. Okay then. <laughs> so please I've change the subject that, now. Okay. <laughs> please. Shall we? Yeah. Shall we get back on that's topic? All right. yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. we've I run out of topics now. No, we have finished everything on the agenda. Have yeah, we? that was everything on the agenda. Have we got a random? Oh, the barrel is it's still okay, half full. I can always sing the ba- the ba- the roll out the barrels song. Roll no. out Absolutely the barrel. <laughs> but you don't know the song, so that's the slight problem. Well, that we here have. it is on YouTube. Thank God for that. Roll I don't think the barrel. I don't. I don't think. No, we really we're we'll not we're not that pushed. Seriously, we're not that pushed. Well, I'm pretty sure we'll find something to do. Yeah. Please stop singing. Please. <laughs> I don't know the oh, next please. bit. So. <laughs> please stop. Thank God for that. I can uh, listen to it in the singing. I'm leave yeah. now. My planet needs me. Have we not got? Have we got some interesting conversation? Yeah. Do you? Topic. Not really. I just, I just wanted to get out from the singing. Um. It worked. <laughs> well, it definitely worked. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, goodbye. What's wrong with my singing? Bye, guys. Bye. What do you mean goodbye? Hello. Where are you going? Where are we going? Come back. Uh, he's he's flying off. I didn't even know you could fly, Kieran. Oh no! Kieran. 
Come Someone back. grab his leg. Oh, grab his oh, leg. I, I just got his shoe. He came through. My shoe. Uh, uh, no shoe. <laughs> Do you want your shoe back? You're gonna have to come back for your shoe. So. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Don't don't you worry. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay. I like, I like your socks, back, by the way. way. Can I have a shoe? Yeah. Here you go. Here you go. I'm a, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I like your what socks. What have you been doing to it? What? Well, I just I just had a little nibble. All right. How how about? Oh, them? okay. What do they taste like? Uh, it tastes like shoe. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I, I put some walnut on them. Just to see if oh. it tastes nice. Oh, yeah, well, I, I thought I could taste How a bit about of that. this story, okay, guys? Okay, what's yeah. the story, then? I'll listen to you. <laughs> right. David versus Goliath. Ninja Rabbit fights back well, against... Well, that's pretty Leonard. self-explanatory. Wow. Okay, next story. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> right, let's, can we have a link to that, please? The odds of survival were rather slim for this unlucky rabbit after coming face-to-face with a leopard and two tigers in eastern China. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, yeah, we'll send the link. You know, I'm pretty sure that... Oh, it's on the Metro. Feet. Of course it's on the Metro. Rabbit's feet are supposed to be pretty Website. lucky, but when they're completely yeah. separated from the body by a leopard, it's probably not as lucky, is it? I would imagine. Well, it says luckless here. The luckless rabbit was used by keepers during a test of five months old wild natural instincts. <laughs> is it harsh? So they just throw the... Jesus! Why would you do that? What? That's like ch- that's like animal cruelty. I'm surprised they're even getting... Well, obviously, they're not getting away with it now. They're zookeepers, and they're just throwing a rabbit in there. <laughs> well, I don't think it's it's awful. UK. <laughs> That's like uh, saying... That's kind of like saying... I wonder if we've, we've cured this guy of smallpox. Well, there's only one way to test it. Let's throw another guy in there and see if he gets smallpox. <laughs> <laughs> With the big cat going in for the kill, the ninja rabbit hopped over his head, giving him a cheeky kick as it went. Was he doing it for the so thrill? He kicked Rory. that that tiger in the head. Was he doing it for the thrill? I think so. Yeah. You'd you'd the think so, wasn't was you? Anyway. You'd think the so. The rabbit was just doing it for his life. Oh, <laughs> he was going in for the kill. Um, he was doing it for a thrill. Yeah. You heard it here first. I just noticed. Noticed in one of the others. This is on the metro. You know, you get links to their other news stories. Man advertised for owner on Craigslist after accidentally stealing a cat whilst drunk. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I imagine a cat is such a hard thing to get a hold of as well. You know, especially when you're drunk. What do you think he like? Do you think he confused it for like, uh, like a sick bag or something? <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. That would actually. And be it terrible. was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna grab the nearest bag to throw up in, and he thought it was the cat. God. And the, well, he thought the cat was the bag, and he was like, not the cat was in the bag. The cat, the cat was. Let's, the bag. let's take the cat out of the and bag. He kind of just threw up into it. Okay. You know, <laughs> it was like I when I was on holiday. Um, and, um, when I went to Tunisia the yeah. about a year ago now. There were loads of cats just walking around the, um, you know, the the holiday site place. And one day, I was getting some food right. at a buffet place, as you do. A couple of chips. They were alright chips. There was some pizza as well. Um, it was very garlicky. Kind of off topic, but I thought you'd like to know. Um, anyway, I came back to my seat, sat down. Suddenly, I had a cat, like attached to my legs screeching at me because when it was right under my chair and I pulled in <laughs> I was just just like stepped on its tail or something it went mental oh. and I just I had to like flip it off it went flying <laughs> through the air landed on its feet because cats do that and then like scampered off yeah. And then I pretended like nothing had happened, despite the fact that I had claw marks in my feet and my leg was bleeding. And I was like, "Yeah, this is what? Ah. What about what of it?" <laughs> you know. And then I, at the end of my meal, I just ate my That's meal normally, ridiculous. and then I just sort of limped off and tried not to notice the people staring at my leg. Uh, <laughs> so that was fun. I'm sorry, but that's hilarious. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Oh, I, I just thought of something, right? Rather than discussing these pointless news articles, yeah. you know, we just went to uh, the UK's biggest game. <laughs> oh yeah, we did that, uh, didn't we? During the holiday. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We should probably discuss it. <laughs> well, I'm off then. So. Um, so I think that's yeah, important yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Kieran. I really think that my cat and Kieran didn't get to go, but he's got a, a bit more important than that. 
to be honest, Rory. So yeah, yeah. Well, which is why I waited till after you'd finished. Well, that's true. Yeah. Okay. You know, cut in. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Kieran's going to Gamescom or whatever it is. You, you're a gamer. That's the one. Yep, that's gonna be good. Um, and yeah, he's gonna press pass. Some we have, <laughs> we have some. I mean, of course he's gonna press pass. He's a member of the press. Um, Let me go press. Just, just the Rinko press. We're the best yeah. press. We're impressed. Yeah, who doesn't like pressed lemons? So, just yeah, some lovely for those who don't know sour juice um, in your eyes. <laughs> For those who don't know, we went to Insomnia Gaming Festival during the six yeah. weeks of holidays. And school. Rory, what was there, yes, Rory? We did. What was there, Rory? Well, <laughs> well, Rory. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, there were there were lots of things. Oh. Thanks. There were there were. It's a gaming <laughs> festival, and it's in it's in Telford in Shropshire. Yeah, that's okay. in the UK, so by the way. There's of course it is. Yes. Where else would a place um, be called Shropshire other than England? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be America. No. Would it? Well, maybe it'd be New Shropshire. New Shropshire. I am very sorry <laughs> to any American Anyway, listeners. so yeah, so yeah, we went there. There's there were loads of exhibitions of computers and new games and stuff. Well, we got we got some uh, um, Minecraft. Celebrities. We have some content going up on yeah, the channel. Yeah, we have some footage. At some point, probably. <laughs> as soon as I can edit it, and Adam gives me the footage yeah. that he. Had. Yeah. We got to meet the Ogscast minus um, Lewis and Simon. Sips and no, sorry, minus yeah. Lewis and Simon. Sips was there. <laughs> Sips um, was there. And we got to. We and but we yeah we discovered didn't we that. You know, we we met we went to a meet and greet for the Ogs cast, but the best place to meet the the Minecraft celebrities yeah, was just or whatever is not not during the meet and greets, no. but just at a random point in the <laughs> evening. We went right. What happened was yeah. so yeah. We were camping nearby. There was the shower yeah. episode. We were camping there? nearby, and we f- the only shower was apparently back at the centre. Okay, so we we went back to the centre. And we were looking around for the showers, yeah. but instead of the showers, the first time we went, we an- managed to see, well, I managed to see basically all of the Yogg's cast that were there, so Duncan, Sips, Jin, um, you know, all those all those people, and then, yeah, and then we were walking out, yeah, Martin and, and, and yeah, who did we see, Dave. Rory? Tell, tell them who we saw, Rory, go on. Uh, we saw Bebop Vox. That's right. We just wa- we just walked through the gate, and Bebop Vox walks the other way. And I was like, "Hi!" <laughs> I was like, "I love the Minecraft Monday show. It's awesome." And he's like, "Oh, cool, thanks, man." His voice sounded a bit strained. I think he may- was maybe a bit tired, or uh, but anyway, yeah, he had flown from Germany, I guess. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it was awesome, and they were all they were all really accommodating from what we saw yeah. of them, weren't they? Like at the meet and greets, and um, Martin just like gave this girl a high five when she asked just randomly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, they played some Starbound. That was rather yeah. cool. It was Duncan, yeah. Sips, and Shin played Starbound, and that was hilarious. Yeah. Shin, if you oh, don't get your we should probably it explain Starbound. Dressed up as pretty Margaret again. Oh yeah, we could put, say something about that. Yeah. Because I mean, Starbound, Starbound is a new game, so they're not going to know what it is unless we tell them. <laughs> um, well, they might know if they'd they've looked into it. It has been okay. around for a while. Well, I haven't, like so I assume that the people. I've got basically. I've got I assume the that people here. are just me who are watching this. Yeah. This podcast. I've got, no, I've got watching website, this website. Can we let Luke explain? It's P L A Y S T A R B A U N D dot C O M. Thanks for that. Playstarbound.com. Okay. Oh, good. What Starbound is, it's a Terraria like um, yeah, 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 sandbox, 2D sandbox game. Yeah, very much like Terraria. Mm-hmm. Except for it's <laughs> yeah, you space. Say that twice. futuristic space elements. Yeah. It's it's just like space, in space. You go to different planets. And <laughs> it's like space to collect in space. fuel for your spaceship, and then 
so you, and then you, <laughs> once you got fuel for your spaceship, you can go off to a different planet. And yeah, there's all sorts of cool futuristic yep. things. So and yeah, it plays different. Yeah, there was like an alpha there. Wasn't yeah, there, yeah, we had a it's little an go. alpha at the moment. We had a little go. Uh, it was. Let's have a look. But I don't think we're going to spoil it um, too much because obviously we got the footage going up of the of them playing yeah. it. Uh, the Yogg's cast playing it live. Let so me have that'll be cool. On Lemon Co. Won't it, boys and girls? Dot com slash user Won't it? Slash Lemon Co. Go on, say yes. The Lemon Co. I can hear yes. you. Yes. I'm standing behind yes. you. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Uh, Don't turn around because I'm there. Okay, it's it's uh, Adam. It's, yes. It's Please from stop. Uh, Team <laughs> Chucklefish. Is the is the developers Team Chucklefish? Yeah. Spelled T E I M. Space, C H U C K L E A I S H. There you are. Thanks for that. Um, yeah. When is it coming out? 2013. What? It's, Why did uh, you just uh, ask that question? Rest then, assured, it will be released in 2013. They don't know when. Is that what it says? Just sometime okay. in 2013. That's, cool. That's what it says on the FAQ. Rest it's assured. Multiplayer. It is fifteen dollars to pre-order. And get beta access when it's ready. Um, uh, I might get it. Yeah, I'd probably get it. It's that's there you go. Pretty cool, that's a review it? if I've ever heard one. I might get it. Adam Marshall. Okay, I might, might get it. Able to ride this points to a mech. <laughs> so yeah, also that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, the we saw some mod developers. Didn't yeah, we? that was cool. Well, that was kind of the highlight. Well, that was my. Yeah, they, they were pretty cool, weren't they? Um, yeah, they were all. I mean, we saw. Um, well, he's not a Ooh. mod developer, but Slowpoke101 from FTB. Yeah, Dan200 from Computercraft. Uh, we didn't see a dog. Yep, Dan200. Uh, we saw Flan randomly. Yeah. He wasn't. He wasn't doing <laughs> from, a, a um, thing uh, from you know yeah. planes. He wasn't, he wasn't a, even a, a thing. A talk. Yeah. He wasn't even yeah, a he thing. wasn't doing a talk. What he does just that mean? literally just walked up to us and said, "Well, walked up to Rory and said, hi, 'Hi, I'm Flan.'" Uh, and Rory's like, "Whoa!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because he was. W- I was waiting to talk to Dan Two Hundred, and um, yeah, I was just kind of, you know, exchanged the knowing look at him because, like, the people who were currently talking to him, every time it looked like they were going to stop talking, they didn't. They just they just started up again, and I was like, oh, "We're never gonna get to talk to him." And he was like, started a conversation. He was like, "So, what are you? What do you do?" Uh, I'm not a mod developer or anything. I just just play mods sometimes. I'd like to be a mod developer. And then he's like, "Ever heard of Flan's mod?" And I was like, "Yeah." Well, I'm Flan. Oh, hi, Flan. <laughs> <laughs> so that was pretty crazy. Yeah. So yeah, I really I really enjoyed that. Um, and yeah, Slowpoke was a really cool dude. Shook my hand and everything. And I said I was a big fan. So yeah, mm. that, I found it really fun. Got a new gaming mouse. Yep. Adam and Luke got um, portal turrets. Yep. We yeah, did. we did. We got did. a sunset one. I did. I got a rainbow one, which is pretty awesome. Yep. So really bought oh, that what? new mouse. Set. Yeah. It's on here. He did. Yeah. He oh. did. It was quite that mouse yeah. is so so amazing that you can choose the weight you want it to be, you know, just in yeah. case you don't like your your yeah. mouse too heavy, uh, you can decrease the weight with some you weights. Add, there's thirty grams of removable weights, <laughs> and you can unscrew the thing at the back, and they all come out, and you can remove how yeah. much. You want. Can I can I just say Starbound? That's my I've immediate problem. The, whenever I, uh, I've just yeah. been been looking at the pre-order page you start at £15 where you get access to the beta and the soundtrack and then they jump up uh, Right. you get up to $45, sorry this is dollars not pounds, $45 have an NPC named after you in the game $75 have your credits in it cool. $500 design a hat in the game for inside the game <laughs> $1000 design a weapon and they'll put it in the game plus for $1,000 $2,000 and they only sell 30 of these have sold 8 of them so far immortalise yourself as a statue in the game 
So that's okay. pretty cool. Wow. How? That, that'll that be interesting to see the people who have, like, donated. <laughs> I know. But the thing is, right, I'm pretty sure that being an NPC in the game is a better prize than designing a weapon. That's what I'd think. But... Yeah, or at least a hat. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather well, be an NPC. I mean, the, other, the, the ones above include the ones below as well, by the way. I think the... Oh, okay. No, sorry. Okay. Hmm. The hat, the hat, you also get an NPC, and the weapons, you also get an NPC. But I don't think you get a hat for the weapons. And the same with the statue. Oh right. You get your names in the credits. You'd as expect well. everything that from the price of, of that statue, wouldn't you? Well, the statue, you yeah. just get your name and your cre- and credits. Well, and the statue, dollars. of course. It's pretty, pretty. Mm. Yeah. So how much is two thousand dollars in pounds? Pretty yeah. Let's have a look. Quick look. One thousand two hundred and sixty-five point three four pounds. That's a lot. And then Yahoo answers. How can I make two thousand dollars in one week? (laughs) (laughs) Of course. Uh, (laughs) Best answer. Gambling crack. (laughs) Gambling. Best right, answer, I'll, I'll, crack. Uh, I'll are. tell you what you do, right? If you want to make loads of money, you go to like the Empire State. Well, actually, that's probably too high. You go to quite a tall building, <laughs> and you say to someone on the top floor, you say, "I bet I can get down to the bottom floor uh, by running down the steps faster than you can get down in the lift." And then they're like, "No, you can't." And you're like, "Yeah, I can. I bet you two hundred pounds that I can." And then what you do is well, it's 2000. you run down the steps, and then um, on every single floor you um, <laughs> you, you press the elevator to stop at the floor, <laughs> and then you do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's full now proof. I I don't know about you, but I wouldn't enter into a bet like that. Yeah. No, I would never do anything <laughs> because I you, know there's something. As long as you got enough stupid people, then. I know that there's something dodgy going on, um, but this person thinks they could beat me down the stairs. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, hmm. I'd just be like, well, Depends why would you enter this Depends how fast the lift was, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really... <laughs> anyway... Sorry, I didn't realise I was supposed to like do the calculations on the acceleration and, and uh, average speed of a lift on its journey down the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> down the stairs, oh, that's a really well, weird know. lift. I, you, I just, just... <laughs> you get into the lift and then it just <laughs> rolls out of the lift compartment and, and just heads down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like the best lift ever. It would also be the worst lift ever because it would kill you, but... <laughs> Be the best lift ever that as well. Sound great. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh amazing. God. How does it get back up? It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> uh. Single use disposable lift. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's ridiculous. Kieran, are you still alive? So, no, I'm yeah. dead, if you're wondering. <laughs> I was wondering. Okay. But no more. Well, I think since Kieran's dead, it's about time. Yeah, and we've we, been um, going for about an hour. Up. <laughs> Just yeah, I should. Hour. We're gonna have yeah. to. Nine minutes. Get the defib out, um, Rory. Get the defib out. Get the Phillips heart oh, start on site defibrillator. Um, well, to the Phillips we don't have to. That's the, that's the defib. On site heart start defibrillator. If you want to hear this message, but I'm still waiting for it. If you want to save someone's life, I'm still waiting for a. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst defibrillator in the world. You've got to uh, like. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you say, please, please say what you wish to do. I'm trying to save a guy's life. I'm sorry. Did you say you're trying to lay some pipe? <laughs> It's not what I said at all. Did what are you doing? I'm trying to save his life. Did to help you with that? <laughs> Did you say you were trying <laughs> to drop some things? Did to help you? 
Lay pipe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like what is this? Says. The worst inventions <laughs> in the world. Lifts that roll down stairs <laughs> and 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 like uh, defibrillators which lay pipe for you. And ask I can't you, help but feel like <laughs> ask you what you want to do before. The- I can't help but feel that while we while we're having this argument about the Philips ha- on-site heart start defibrillator, um, Kieran is now beyond rescuing. So he's now a ghost. I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, so, um, I, I'm pretty sure you can just defibrillate him through the internet, can't you, Adam? I, well, I can, yeah. I, can. Yes, I don't want to dra- brag on. about that fact, but I can do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just pour water onto my laptop and it electrocutes but the he's entire not going internet. To, but... That's what happens. I just, <laughs> I just get a bucket <laughs> of water. Restart I, pour, heart. I pour it onto the computer and that electrocutes all the other computers that are connected to the internet. And I assume if Kieran has died, he's sort of slouched over his keyboard, and so that gets electrocuted, and he's fine. <laughs> so that's how it right. works. Okay. Yep. I think now we're people... scraping the bottom of the barrel <laughs> now. <laughs> wait, well, wait a second. People are probably wondering why we know so much about the, uh, okay. the Philips on-site heart start defibrillator, and the reason is we are sponsored by Philips. Yeah. If we're yeah. not already sponsored by we, Philips, we're sponsored then we will by be sponsored by Philips. No, we're not shortly, sponsored by... <laughs> I'm sure. No, no not, not screwdrivers. Oh, no. Literally only defibrillators. That's the only thing they can sponsor us for. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> we're not Just even allowed to mention... the like portion of the company. <laughs> we're not even allowed to mention yeah. their, um, their screwdrivers, I'm afraid. Oh, so you've okay. already broken that rule, Rory. Well done. They're probably not going to... I'm sorry. Not gonna do it now. It's okay. I'll, I'll edit it out in in post. It'll be like, oh, so you mean we're sponsored by? Mm. <laughs> and then uh, I'll, it'll continue. And but no every time, yeah. every time I say the what Phillips on start heart, yeah. no, the Phillips on site heart start defibrillator, you've got to sort of edit the beginning of that out, so it just ends up as mm. on site on heart start stop. defibrillator. Heart stop defibrillator. Right. Okay. Oh, we're anyway. not allowed to say Phillips either. Can I be well, alive well, now? No, no, we're not allowed to say Phillips. <laughs> what is it? Yes, what's the word can. we're not allowed to say, Luke? What is it? Uh. Mm. Oh, Phillips. Is that what I, you... I thought I'd just yes, edit it out Phillips. now instead of editing yeah. out in post. So we're not allowed to say Phillips. So don't say okay. Phillips, okay, like, Kieran? I'm editing this again. Oh, <laughs> Probably. <shit>. Kieran, <laughs> Kieran, don't say Phillips. Stop saying Phillips, Kieran. <laughs> oh, so long advertisement there. Uh, giving up with it now. <laughs> oh, so, well, yes. Yeah. Well, okay. Right. That's a goodbye. Shall we from... finish up yeah. here then? It's a goodbye. Let's goodbye, goodbye from it. him. Yeah, goodbye from me. It's, it's goodbye, goodbye from the over there. The gray. It's, it's goodbye from Adam, the party animal, um, Phillips Marshall. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, it's goodbye from. Who am I? Oh, Luke, yeah. Goodbye from Luke. <laughs> goodbye, Luke. It's goodbye, Luke. Goodbye from Kieran. I'm still dead. I'm pretty Unfortunately. cold. And well, I, I did revive you. It's goodbye. Oh, did you? Thanks. So yeah. warm, oh, that's good. Goodbye from, from Kieran's heart. It's going to die now. Yeah. And um, goodbye from me. Um, Who are you? And goodbye from the lemon cake. Who are you, Rory? Who are you? Yeah. Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs> Bye. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on, roll out the barrel. Oh, good, that's what we need to end with. <laughs> okay. Of course it Good is. for that. Lemon Cow is sponsored by Philips. <laughs>